Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am playing with some old and new products here today. I've got the layered snowflakes. I, mean, I picked out quite a bit of different cardstock. These are all Stampin' Up! cardstocks. Some of them may be retired, but I love them so much. Some of my snowflakes are on a big piece of cardstock right in the middle. This is so I can use it another time. So if I want um, a base for it or, you know, a matte layering or something like that, then I can still use that. It may come that I use, I keep using that piece for another scraps and that's fine. So I've got all my little snowflakes and I'm laying them all up. Now my ink block, well it is an inky block, my acrylic block is really dirty. I've left it a couple of days and I've come back. Now slowly the sh the light is going to come across our panel here and I'm going to not realize. This is where this card goes wrong. I'm like, I don't even know what I was thinking. Like it was not going to work out having a great big warm hugs sentiment on a snowflake which is literally about the same size it was not going to happen i've laid up about three or four i can't quite remember now this is where i'm like this is not working this is one of the same um, cardstocks that i used in my snowflake i like that much better so we're actually going to make two cardstock cards out of this so this is card number one Again, I'm gluing that down with a little bit of multi-matte medium and multi-medium matte, I should say. I always do that, but and using some acrylic blocks just to give them a help to keep them down. While that is adhering, we'll do a little warm hugs. I am cutting off some of the gluing with these because I'm very conscious of your time. I don't want to, you know have you just watching me glue we don't want that this is so that's it that was me did you see my hands flapping I was like yes that's it these are not staying there goes my computer these are not staying this I was trying to find I thought the blue in them because they're actually tonal there's like two two tones of blue in that but it was just too dark it took over I'm going to swap them out for these ones and these are the ones I'm going to like these are picket fence aqua aqua marine and pale pink the other one I can't quite remember but basically there is a dark blue and a light blue or a lighter medium blue so I'm placing some of these around and a lot of them were flying like falling upside down and causing me grief again see causing me grief so I haven't stamped obviously I haven't glued down my warm hugs I finished gluing all my little dots my little pearls so we're going to put this down nice and flat just with a little bit of liquid glue this is just a craft tacky glue this works really really good for us here in Australia a lot of the time tape it just doesn't cut it it just doesn't cut it I don't know I think it's to do with a warm humidity or something I don't know but it doesn't cut it for me it comes off and I don't like that the last thing we're going to do with this card is just trim off all our little snowflakes and that's going to be it we're going to open up the card to trim those off because you can get out closer to the edge of the cardstock But this other snowflake is not going to go to waste. I tried a few th different things with this other piece of castle. I lied, I forgot my stickles. Because snowflakes, they need a bit of glitter. And I promise that is the last thing that we're going to do. So I don't want to waste this stuff, this snowflake. Lots of pretty blues and... I had this embossing folder and I thought maybe snowflakes and snowflakes 
I, was saying, I don't really know what I was thinking of this. Have you had one of those times where you just don't know? In looking back, you sort of go, why? Why? This is Paper Rose So Extra White 1.0. 1 it has lots of little sentiments in it. There also is a black one, which you can see down the bottom there. It had a sending warm and then hugs and another thing so we're going to go with that this is sentiment it's very hard to see but this is the paper rose sentiment strips and we're going to just die cut i need the last smaller one we're going to die cut these out this helps to <laughs> if you're I'm very talented at cutting crooked lines. This helps out a ton. At this point, I'm still sort of umming and ahhing, but we've got sending warm and we're gonna use the hugs. And it's just perfect because it's just all in one line and so I don't need to stress about it. This is how good I am because sending warm, you can't see it at the moment, but I did notice once I glued it down or went to glue it down, near the warm it's crooked you can sort of see it there that's how good I am I'm very gifted that was not working so what I'm going to do is a quarter of an inch around the whole panel I'm going to emboss a line and this is going to give us a little frame a little bit of interest so it's pretty simple in regards to what we've got I didn't know whether we wanted to put that down lower, but we're going to just keep that sitting on top of the snowflake. If you like what you're watching currently, I would be very honored if you give the like button a whack and hit the subscribe button as well. It just lets YouTube know that I am not too bad and it's more likely to recommend. That's what the experts tell me. That's what I'm told. So that would be really, really good because I'm slowly growing. It's only a very small channel, but I'm slowly growing. So yeah, if you like what you're watching, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell and the like button, give it a whack and then you'll get notifications so each time I upload a new video. I'm currently uploading about uh, once a week, generally speaking. I do want to do more, but when you know it's coming up to Christmas and well when you get this video it'll be after Christmas this is why we're doing a warm hugs compared to a Christmas themed thing I have a lot of family in America and a lot of family in the UK so this is gonna be going to them just as a, probably as a birthday present birthday card because why not it's snowflakes it's stinking pretty I've got these clear, the sequins, they're sort of sequins, but then they don't have the hole in it. I just found those online somewhere, and so these are out of my stash, and they are a couple of different levels. I did find they were a little bit stuck together. There was a couple there that were stuck together, so that's why you're going to see me run it through my fingers. So we've got a little bit of an angle going from top right down to bottom left and again we're going to stick that down with a little bit of multi medium matte is that what it's called because I want to really call it multi matte medium but anyway a little bit of liquid glue and that is going to be it we've just got a little bit of stickles for a little bit more sparkle and that's it that's card number two this is book card number one and that's it i hope you're well take care and i will see you in the new year bye bye